Leo Messi decided to open up and tell us why he never speaks English in interviews or at awards ceremonies. No es bueno de hablar francés. No te no te da tiempo de aprender inglés al final, eh. Te pregunté la última vez qué íbamos a hacer en inglés. Yo llevo un año y medio estaba con inglés aprendiendo. However, the fact that it wasn't his mother tongue wasn't the reason for this question. Podría hablar, creo que para los árbitros igual. Video, pero, ¿eh? Para los árbitros. <laughs> and of course. Many people were curious when Messi and Cristiano had an attention-grabbing encounter during an important awards ceremony. We noticed you've been talking a lot. Do you miss him? ¿Te extraña o no? Es, es la pregunta. <laughs> ¿Para él o para mí? No, tú a él. Ah, quiero los dos, sí. ok. El que conteste primero. Sí, yo se lo sí. dije en su momento. Era lindo Lloré tenerlo. Lloré mucho por Cristiano. <laughs> Era una rivalidad linda, sobre todo porque estaba en el Madrid también. Y... And while the Argentinian footballer spoke in Spanish, the Portuguese star had no difficulty. He was asked to speak in English at the awards ceremony. Español? No, English. English. I think yeah. <laughs> I was curious because we shared this stage 15 years, yeah. me and him. I don't know if it's ever happened in football. Mm. Why couldn't Lionel Messi speak English? That was the question on many people's minds. The thing is, after sharing so much time with teammates, managers and international referees, it was difficult to understand what was really behind it. On his arrival at PSG, he finally revealed the secret. Bienvenido a mi humilde sala de estar. Hola. Hoy tengo agua, eh. The struggle of Latin American footballers with English has been going on for years. Messi certainly wasn't the first one to have difficulties with the language, let alone face tricky interviews. Your English is getting good, you're going to have to do more of these. No, 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 I uh, <laughs> understand a little you, but this is... Uh, and now so, so, so happy for, for my friend, for the team, uh, uh, together. It's, it's the, the fans is fantastic, uh, uh, so happy I go to read my home with my dog. But of course, there are also examples of the other extreme. In the world of football, there are many players and coaches who are polyglots, such as the case of Romelu Lukaku and Pep Guardiola. Yeah, when you play with Kagawa, with Mata, with Rune, Rune Ingespel, Marin Belvin, Chicharito, okay, you are more offensive. So when you play offensive defenses, it's kind of the quality of the spiel up, not to leak ambition for the... In English. Oh, in English. What do you mean? El idioma siempre es un problema para los futbolistas latinoamericanos que viajan al exterior. Uno de los problemas principales puede radicarse en la falta de educación y en los orígenes humildes que suelen tener los jugadores que llegan a primera en el fútbol sudamericano. The language issue is a complication that many football stars have had to deal with. And Messi is the perfect example that no one escapes that. Despite being adults and having absolutely everything, you still have to keep studying to make yourself understood in the world. O sea, que te dio para más del yes y el... Sí, la verdad que entiendo bastante, pero habla todavía. Podría hablar, creo que... Para los árbitros igual. Pero... 